What up, everybody? It's your girl, July from Kickback Couture. And today, I'm going to show you the best way to get stem separation in reason. So I have this terrible loop as an example so that I can show you how it works. So this is what pill stems looks like. You would drop this in as an insert effect on whatever channel you want to get stems from. So let's play this track and then I'll start to remove the example so you can see just how good it is. All right, just those drums, bass back in, and we can pull down the level too if we want to just pull it down. And in this case, Other is picking up some reverb and is picking up the guitar. So it'll just be other instruments that aren't vocals, bass, or drums. So pianos, whatever the case is. Now, if you put this on a sample and say you just want to extract the drums, then you could print that exact loop to your file. So for example, so I have my loop here and this has all of the sounds in it. So. If I just open this audio file up, right click it, effects, drop in peel stems. If I only wanted my drums, I would turn off all these other elements. Bounce in place. And now I have my effect with only my drums. If we wanted to remove the drums, we just turn that off. Did a pretty good job there. Once again, bounce in place. And this is the file we got. It does introduce a little bit of delay, so turn it off when you're not using it. And that's perfect for any kind of sampling hip hop guys or uh, DMB guys, anything like that, like to do. And if we try another example with, let's say, the vocals, for those of you who like to do acapellas, and here's our vocal. Now, normally, you probably wouldn't have drums this loud in your sample. Usually when you're trying to remove drums from a sample, uh, they're not that loud. But like I said, I just slapped this together real fast for myself. I would definitely recommend you giving it a try. I'll put the link down in the description. Today is day 24 of our 30-day Reason Marathon. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.